The living body is a chemical machine. It takes in chemicals and gives off chemicals in a never-ending stream, and the body itself is a place of endless chemical transformations. Out of all this activity comes the new parts needed for repairs and growth and reproduction, as well as the energy required to use them. Thousands of kinds of molecules are produced and consumed, all in precisely controlled quantities at programmed times and places. All this controlled activity is built on the capabilities of special protein molecules that are known as enzymes. Enzymes are the working units of the organism. They determine which of the many molecules in the organism will react with one another and what kind of products will be formed. The molecules that an enzyme accepts from the surroundings are called substrates of the enzyme. And the newly formed molecules that leave the enzyme are called its products. Biochemists write the name of the enzyme beside the reaction arrow to indicate that the substrates will change to the products only if the enzyme is present. Enzymes can be understood more clearly by seeing how they work. Each enzyme has its own detailed mechanism of action, which differs from all others. But there are some common features that all enzymes share, such as the fact that they are all composed mainly of protein molecules. Six other common features are discussed in the remainder of this presentation. First, each kind of enzyme can work with only a narrow range of substrates. This limitation is called substrate specificity. Many experiments have been done feeding the wrong molecules to a captive enzyme to determine how the enzyme recognizes its proper substrates. For example, it's been found that the enzyme amylase will attack starch but not cellulose, the two polymers shown here. The atomic components of these molecules are the same, but there is a slight difference in their arrangement in space. Amylase can detect this difference in shape. 